I needed a great idea for this video. I asked you guys to leave a comment and Travis, you delivered. So in this video, I'm going to take your advice and we're gonna partner with our own brain to solve a creative problem using a technique called mind mapping. Hello daydreamers, welcome to The Small Town Creative, a channel devoted to helping you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. I'm Michael Masters, a Michigan-based graphic designer and illustrator. First, let me tell you what mind mapping is, and then I'll show you how I use it to solve a common problem among designers. Mind mapping is an extremely simple tool that helps us to explore our mind by spewing out ideas and organizing them on a single sheet of paper. Essentially, it's a visual brainstorm, but it's more than that. It's a web of information that connects your ideas, each one to the other. Those connections are mapped out onto the page in real time as you're thinking them. Let's grab a sketchbook and do the thing. In the center of the page, we put whatever dilemma we're trying to figure out. I chose to explore the topic of sustaining a creative career. So I'm gonna start there and write this in the center. If you want to, you can add visual elements to further stoke the creative fire. Okay, next we'll branch out from the center with a key idea. For the first set of radiating ideas, you wanna think of these like chapters in a book. These are just like little stops on your journey to figure out the answer to your dilemma. From this point, you and your brain are pretty much gonna take it from here, allowing the ideas to just connect to each other free form. Every key idea that you write down will have associations that are important to you. Also try to sum up each idea in as few words as possible. We can continue making connections until we've exhausted our supply of ideas. Also, if you're a student attending a lecture or some kind of speaking engagement, Mind mapping is a great way to take notes. It's like you're collecting the key ideas instead of trying to transcribe every word the speaker says. You can decorate your mind map or keep it simple if you'd prefer. Once you start using mind mapping for your own purposes, you will see the immense value that you can get out of this tool. I hope you found the information in this video to be helpful. If you wanna see more ideation techniques, click the link that appears on the screen. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And remember to question everything and stop at nothing. See you next time.